All right, so we're updating the shroud on our Lazbot Taz 4. What we're doing is updating it from this one so it cools the PLA up here for gets down into the ear block so we can have less jamming. It's just gonna go on there. We're actually going to add a, an additional fan on the other side so we can have twice the cooling power. And so we have to rebuild our shapes because the found fan shroud we found on Thingiverse is pointing the wrong way. We already have that dual one cooling the nozzle. We need the one on the opposite side to help cool the other side of our PLA prints. All right, so what's it look like? All right, so here's the final design. I have a shorter fan shroud. It'll point downwards. So a good practice is to definitely tin your um, stranded wire. Otherwise you get um, sort of frails and it's terrible. Okay, so this is a pretty cool setup. What did you do here? So it's sort of like a Y connection. So we're gonna make sure that all these guys solder together by lining them all up like that. This is two helping hands, by the way, and they're holding everything together. And a big blob of fodder. I'm gonna cut one side of these right here so they can slip over each other. Oh, you're gonna yeah. have them overlap. Oh, so that little slit lets you so that you can overlap them. Are you going to heat shrink each one? So we're going to use this bad boy over here. This heat. Yeah, the airflow. Yeah. Airflow. Cool. Look how quick it is. It's like instant. That. All right, both these puppies are soldered and... So here it is all set up. It looks like it's installed with the two screws. I'm about to flip it on and see if everything works. All right, so here we are in Simplified 3D. And we're just going to turn the fans on. You can hear it going. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. Okay, here we have both fans hooked up and printing an extreme overhang. It's fairing up pretty well. We had to reduce the fan speed down to 30% so it didn't completely cool down the nozzle. You can get the files on 123 Gallery as well as our Thingiverse page.